kind of lonely out here. Alright, well it's actually been a while since I've showed anything new off, so... I think I'll get to that now. This is the medical room, same as before. I have added a second solar tower, although some of the staging is complete. The tower itself is. But this is entirely new. That structure up there. It's not necessarily special. But I'll go take a look at it. Got a nice, unfortunately dirty arse window we can look out through here. And a short flight up these stairs brings me to... Incomplete, but it's still... A ground control station. Let's turn... let's turn the... Lights on. That's a bit better, I think. It's properly ventilated, as I should do. There is an antenna on the very top of it. Much better than the GPS coordinate, much cleaner. So let's go on back down. But that's not the most interesting thing to show off today. In fact, I would say it's the third least interesting. Thir third most. Let's go take a look at it. Now, what, what's that over there? What's, what's that sitting over there, you may ask? Well, let's go check it out. So this is a new structure here. We have this door leading into the work area. Coming back out. I've wanted this door here for a while, actually, but this is the perfect opportunity to have done it. Got a ramp leading over here so I can drive over that no problem. A small walkway coming over to, well, kind of a clumsy elevator, but they all are. Leading down into this classy little chopped out area. This is the lights. Nope, that's the elevator. This is the lights. That's the lights. I need that back. Come back down. Thank you. So what's what's all the way down here? Why don't we find out? Well, this seems needlessly dark. Let's fix that. There we go. Properly ventilated, completely sick underground aircraft hangar. I wanted an aircraft hangar for a while. But I figured, why not make it completely cool? So, so then I did. So of everything we have here, we have Rebel. I've already shown it off before. Or maybe I haven't. Either way, it's basically meant for small things like picking up vehicles or separated blocks. And then we have this. I forgot to mention while I was recording that this ship's name is Absolute. Does it serve any actual purpose other than flying around and feeling kind of cool? So, clearly, let's do exactly that. Yeah. Hehe. my little underground hangar right there. Sticks just above ground level. I've even got a little air vent. Whoa, 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 I should level up before I crash. Let's take a, let's take a quick flight, flight around the lake. I can see Starduster in the distance. I haven't checked that, in a, checked that out in a while. So I'm going to go do exactly that. Still the piece of work I'm happiest with. Still the most useful piece of work I've made. Except... Well, let's go see what I'm going to talk about right now.
drilling out this whole area was totally worth doing that. And now, for the purpose of all that ice, for what you may have been here waiting for. The Oddity. This is the vehicle that'll take me to space. Six full hydrogen tanks all lined along the outside, three large thrusters, two small thrusters going in at least every other direction, a mass of spotlights on all sides, four landing gears, an antenna, a connector here for the bottom so that the entire ship can interact with its partnership, the Little Wonder. It's a little bit tilted right now, but it's got it's got cargo containers, it's got a large reactor, it's got a cockpit, it's got an ore detector, it has an oxygen tank, an oxygen generator. It has it has cameras for viewing different angles, right there, and also right there, and of course, it has drills for scraping ice from the surface. So let's take it for a little ride. Well, not even so much of a ride as I wanted to just show at least one little thing about it. Is that close enough? Hey, 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 hey. I'm bouncing. That's close enough. In the event I have no hydrogen and can't get up to the oddity, I can always do this. Take a look at the inside. Right here, once the thing goes to space, right here's the airlock, complete with complete with an air vent. Is, oh shit, I'm gonna suffocate. I did not expect that to happen. But complete with an airlock that I can pressurize, depressurize, so I can go outside without losing any oxygen whatsoever. Now let's come in here into the main work area. Here's buttons for depressuring and depressurizing the airlock, just as I have here. Here's the actual air vent for ventilating this area full of oxygen. The two oxygen tanks I'm going to be working with. And the conveyor that works all that is squeezed right into the corner there. Here's just a projector that projects this ship's own model over top of it in case something breaks. There's an oxygen generator. Here's the refinery. Here's our gyroscope. There's our gravity generator for when this thing actually gets out to space. Here's our cryo chamber for... Relaxing sleeps. A couple passenger seats for people to sit down, chill out, ride with me, even though no one will. Here's an arc furnace for things like iron and cobalt. The power supply. An ore detector. Squeezed somewhere in the back of all that mess, I know for a fact, is an assembler with some kind of Mo upgrade module on it. I don't actually remember. Medical room. Stairs leading up to a second floor with all the card containers. And finally, stairs leading up here to the main control deck. Which, while it may be hard to see underneath, that's not an impossible fix. Front camera. Left camera. Right camera. Back camera. Where did all those cameras come from, you may ask? Right there. That's where they came from. So the basic idea here is that once I'm done collecting ice, which I'm actually pretty sure I am, I'll grind down this little wonder and put all our separate pieces into one of the cargo containers there. Then once this thing actually gets flown to the moon, I'll set up a projector and build this whole thing right up again then I can start this entire process anew. I'm kind of looking forward to that, and a little bit not at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> 